so this is your question paper practical question paper so write a python program to enter data the table will be given to you now this is a student table in your question paper you may get the flight details table or the train details or the hospital doctor details post office detail bank details so these detail table will be given to you and the question will be asked on that table so using list you have to solve these questions now using list and dictionary we will do it today now display student detail with highest marks so this highest marks for that you have taken the input so here a list you have created total number of students you have taken for loop you have used for the total number of students and then you are taking the input that is roll number name and marks and you are adding in the list so this is creating a nested list now in this the question was to display the maximum marks so here one by one record we have to access so this for loop i have used for that then we are checking if the max value is less than this value that is this is x of 2 2 means 0 1 2 that is a mark so this is fixed and x will take one by one record so pehle wale ka marks lene ke liye jab loop pehli baar chalega zero ho jayega to ye zero two matlab zero ka two matlab thirty two phir dusri baar jab loop chalega to ye one ka two ho jayega to one ka two matlab thirty phir third time when the loop will be executed two ka two ho jayega two ka two matlab twenty six to ek ek karke check karte ja raha hai aur ye print ho gaya theek hai अब इसमें और क्या क्वेश्चन आ सकते हैं टोटल मार्क्स मिनिमम मार्क्स एवरेज मार्क्स क्लियर नाउ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन व्हिच आई एम पुटिंग हियर इज द फ्लाइट डिटेल्स एंड यू हैव टू डिस्प्ले द फ्लाइट नेम्स व्हिच आर स्टार्टिंग विद ए सो योर क्वेश्चन इज अ टेबल इज गिवन टू यू इन व्हिच फ्लाइट नंबर फ्लाइट नेम एंड फेयर इज गिवन एंड यूजिंग नेस्टेड लिस्ट display the flight names starting with a yes it can be capital a or small a now directly flight data you can store here or you can ask the user to enter all the flight details so i am asking since it is a user friendly program i am asking the user here so what i am doing is i am creating a empty list first and then i am asking the user to enter the flight details if it is given in the question three flights then directly for loop i can use it if number of flight is not mentioned then i can ask the user enter the total number of flights so int input enter number of flights how many flight details you want to save and then you will use a for loop for x in range so one by one this will be executed n number of times as many flights are there now you will ask the user to enter the data so one by one three datas you can take separately you can put in a list and then you can append the list in l2 that is one method second method is directly in a list you can use eval method and you can ask the user to enter the flight numbers now this is a list so square bracket while entering the datas you have to give otherwise it will store in a tuple that is also correct you can use a tuple also like now I, while entering i will not use a square bracket so it will be a tuple then so any method you can use so first thing is input enter the flight number flight name and fare so three datas will be entered and then you will l2 dot append you will add in l so this is over now the question is starting with a so what you have to do is you have to use a for loop and you will check if it is starting using if you will check it and you will display those 
records flight names only you have to display so i'm using a for loop here and it is stored in l2 so len of l2 i will take so for any variable you can use here suppose why i am using here in range len of l2 because l2 is having all the flight details now now you are checking if now l2 the first variable is y and you want only the flight names that is 0 1 so 1 i will enter here so in this second one will be 1 and if it is in I am using the membership operator because I want to use both capital A and small a, both I want to check. So I am using a membership operator, I am not using equality sign. Now you have to print that. So for printing, I will use the print command and then what you have to print is L2, that is only those flight names you have to print which, can, which starts with A. So here 1 you have to write, you can just copy it from here. Yes. Now, this is over. So, you can execute it and you can see whether it is executing or not. Enter the number of flights. Suppose three flights. Flight number. Now, I am giving in square bracket only. 202. And flight name is SpiceJet. And fare is then the second one so this enter you will give it will add in that now the second one is 302 and air india i am giving so that it can show the flight name starting with a air india and the fare i am entering now third one three i have given so the third one i am giving as air asia 403 and Air Asia and the fair. So this is over. So it has created. Now, okay, after creating, what happened? It is not showing anything. Okay, after creating, I haven't used here a print command. We should use here a print command so that it displays all the three. So print l2 is having all the data yes now since it is not showing what is the mistake i have made here the first character should start with a not all so first character means only the first character you have to check here i have given only till one that is the name it was taking Okay, you can store the name in a variable and then you can, suppose a variable I am taking here, flight name, so F I have taken here and in that you can store the flight names, like this is the flight name. So, I can store here the flight name first and then here F of 0 you can use, same thing, both will be doing the same thing. Now when you will execute it, again it is asking because it hasn't saved here. So again you have to enter. So I am just entering once again SpiceJet and the fair 1. Okay, first was enter the number of flights. Okay, so first I will enter the number of flights and then I have to enter the data so 202 and then what happened today you are not pointing out the mistakes tired second one is 302 then Air India And third one is 403, any number you can, this false data only I am giving. You can collect the data from internet also and AirAsia. 
so this is over then okay now enter you can see here this is the final list nested list they have created and the name starting with AR Air India and Air Asia clear so now like this all the questions will be asked now this name was only starting with A suppose in question paper they are giving you the name starting with A and S that is SpiceJet also I want to see so these type of questions what we can do one more method is there that directly those uh, flight names directly you can give it here so that again and again I don't have to enter the data so the table will be given to you in question so directly the data you can like here directly we have entered the datas like this also you can do it and then you can execute the command understood how the question paper is designed so one more question I am showing here that is it can be a doctor's detail or product suppose product detail you want to give uh, you want to display the total amount that is the bill you want to display so what you will do is the table will be given to you in your question paper suppose a table I am creating here okay now here the table is given to you as item number item name or the product name name of the product and the price quantity also if it is given you can multiply the two and you can display the total amount so this much only I am taking now so item number I am starting with two enter three enter four enter yes so four items I have entered it can be items can be your laptop then computer or a monitor then mouse and keyboard now the price of laptop is suppose 50,000 monitor is 10,000 or 20,000 then mouse is 500 keyboard is 900 so this is given now you can just copy uh, in the question paper this will be given to you so this you don't have to do anything only this is given in your question paper and the question is display the maximum uh, price of the products or display the total amount whatever question will be asked so you can see here suppose in this question paper this table is given to you it will be given to you in the question paper and the question will be question is create it and display the price of price of product or price of laptop also you can do it or price of product whose name starts with M product name starting with price of product name starting with M this is your question paper question now how you will do it same way directly also you can give to a list so now I will show you directly I will give to a list and I will do it so here I will create a list and I am directly entering the values so first product was your laptop and the price so it will it is a string so it will be in single quotes and then the price suppose price is 50,000 just now I'm showing with only two products in exam you do it with all the products and the three I am showing here monitor so monitor and the price is suppose 20,000 so like this you will enter all the values and then the question was that whose name starts with M the price of it or the question may be that display the price of monitor or the question may be which 
product which item has the maximum price display the product with product detail with maximum price or with minimum price so we will start with it first um, starting with m we are doing it so here what we have to do is one by one we have to access so i have used here for loop for x in range now how many products are there that we don't know so that's why i'm using len of l and then you are accessing each product so you have to check starting with m so i will directly use here if l of the variable row is x and then for the names i will use one so here sorry uh, one and then i have to use zero for the first character so zero directly i am giving it now and then i am using membership operator and the question was m so small m and capital m i am giving here and then colon i am using and we have to display the price of that product so to display the price of the product print same list x will be same and now the price is in 2 so here i will write 2 so the price of the product starting with m is this now when you will execute you will see it is showing 20000 so this is done clear question is display the price of the product whose name starts with m Is there any limitation to use the functions in the program? Sometimes it is written in question paper without using built in function. So you have to learn both. Clear? Yes. Now the other set of questions like uh, suppose any calculation you have to do here in the same question. Suppose you are going to buy and uh, now you have to buy 10 monitors and the question is what is the total amount of the bill. So which product you have to buy it will ask the user. Suppose user has given monitor you will find the price from this list. List is saved here so from this list you will search the price then it will ask you the quantity and then it will generate the total bill so like this many questions using dictionary also these questions are asked so you practice it using dictionary also and then the 